Hey guys, it's Christmas Pasta. I know I don't typically make videos that are out of character, but this time, I have no choice. For many years now, I've been left comments on my videos from some of you saying, Please creeps, read Jeff the Killer. And, please oh please, read Jeff the Killer, it's the scariest creepypasta ever. And for a while, I just ignored it. I had even mocked the story from time to time, but that all changed last night. For years, I thought the story of Jeff was just a story. I could have never imagined it might be true. It was 12am when I began to grow bored of playing Overwatch for the third day in a row with no sleep. Nothing was in my belly besides liters of Mountain Dew and at least three or four bags of Doritos. I had lost count of the calories days and days ago. I was playing I was playing with a few friends of mine, Creepypasta Junior and Mr. Creepypasta, when Junior started telling me about the deep web. See, for a year or so now, I just thought the deep web was a rumour or some work of online fiction, but he claimed that he had been on there and explained it to me step by step. Though, he warned me, saying, Seriously, creeps, do not go there. Some of the content might not be suitable for someone with your mind. My mind? I thought. What does he mean by that? I looked over to my waifu body pillow for advice. She always knew what to say. With just one look, she calmed me down and urged me to leave the session before I grew too angry. For another hour or so, I kept thinking how I wanted to prove him wrong. That I can go on the deep web. I'll show him, I shouted droplets of spit flying from my mouth and landing on my screen. So, I did it. I went on the deep web. At first, it was confusing. I guess the deep web is a lot bigger than the regular internet you and I go on. After an hour or so of searching, nothing really seemed to scare me. I was expecting something horrifying after what Junior had made it out to be. But for the most part, it didn't seem that bad just a bit slow when you loaded a different page. That was until I found a website called Smile For Me. The website had a dark red background that looked like it had been made in MS Paint, and in the middle of the screen read the text, Do you want to smile? With a yes or no clickable option. Hell yeah, I thought. Being the brave badass adventurer I am, I leaned forward and squinted to see through the layer of Cheeto dust covering my monitor and clicked yes with as much force as I could muster. I damn near broke my mouse. It then loaded a picture of a girl, a very attractive one at that. My cheeks grew red with embarrassment and I could feel my nose beginning to bleed. I quickly looked over my shoulder to check on my waifu. Luckily she was fast asleep. She's kind of the jealous type and I didn't want to give her the wrong idea about this girl. The picture soon began to distort and change, and soon there was a smile across the girl's face. Not just a regular smile, but one that looked as if it was cut into her cheeks from ear to ear. And then, boom, a blood curdling scream sounded from the page and the screen went black. Just as I was about to nope the hell out of there, a new window popped up. A chat room that wanted me to make a username. Though part of me wanted to leave, the other part still wanted to prove that I was able to handle the deep web. So I didn't let it get the better of me. That was my mistake. I changed my username to Dick Richard Johnson. It's a play on words if you couldn't already tell. After I set my username, it let me in. There was only one other guy in the chat with the username Jeff the Killer. I made the logical assumption that this person must have been a Creepypasta fan. I typed in the chat, Hello Jeff, Creepypasta fan are you? He then typed back, Creepy what? I laughed out loud, hard. That's when I realised I hadn't brushed my teeth in some time. I would have been embarrassed if anyone was in the room with me, but luckily it was just me and my waifu. Come on, 
It may be my first time on the deep web, but I'm not that gullible, I responded. He replied as fast as lightning, saying, Not sure what you're talking about. Oh, come on, I continued. There is no way your username is Jeff the Killer and you're not a creepypasta fan. But I am Jeff the Killer, he replied. I was shocked. Could this be true? Could it? I mean, there was no way that old story had any truth to it. Or was there? Well, if you are who you say you are, then prove it to me, I demanded. And how would I do that? He asked. Send me a picture of your face. If you are Jeff, then you must have that infamous face with a Glasgow smile and bleached skin. He quickly responded with an, Okay. I waited and waited, with each passing minute feeling like hours. I had almost given up, saying, I knew this guy was a fraud. There was no way he could be the real Jeff. I stopped in the middle of my sentence the moment an image loaded on my screen. What I saw shook me to my core. I had to hold my hands over my mouth to withhold my vomit. There he was, staring back at me. A picture of Jeff the Killer with a timestamp and date to prove it was real. He then replied again. Go ahead, do a reverse Google image search. Nothing will come up. So I did, and just like he said, nothing came up. I knew at this point I was dealing with the real Jeff the Killer. I typed back as fast as I could, and ignoring the stench that wafted from my mouth. Please, I don't want any trouble. He quickly responded with, Oh, there's going to be trouble. It's time for you to pay. I tried as fast as I could to exit out of the page but it wouldn't let me. I tried shutting my computer off, but it wouldn't let me. Instead, words popped up on my monitor saying, it's time for you to go to sleep. I know who you are. At that, I threw my monitor across the room hastily and unplugged my PC. Babe, what's going on? My wife who asked, having roused her from sleep due to the crashing of my monitor against the wall. I quickly screamed back, Shut up! I'm trying to think here! I soon snapped out of it. It wasn't like me to snap at someone like that. Especially my own beautiful waifu. Wait, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. And just like that, she gave me the cold shoulder. Nobody could be as cold as her. Nobody. At that moment, I knew I was on my own. That's when my cell phone began to ring. The number read 666-666-666. I didn't even think a number like that was possible. I thought to myself, should I dare answer? Just as I was about to let it go to voicemail, all I could think was Junior laughing at me when he finds out I chickened out on the deep web. I could already hear him telling me I told you so. I knew then and there that I wasn't going to quit. Just as the phone hit the last ring, I picked up. Hello? I asked, my voice cracking prepubescently. Mr. Killer Man, are you there? Oh, I'm here all right, he answered. I'm here and I'm going to get you. I know you aren't really Dick Richard Johnson. I know you're actually Creeps McPasta. My heart stopped. I threw my phone against the wall and watched as it shattered. I heard footsteps as though someone was coming down into my room here in the basement. But luckily, it was just my mom. I screamed, Get out of my room! And she proceeded to leave. I did what I had to do. I didn't want her to get involved in this mess I had caused. I knew Jeff wasn't going to give up that easy. So, I spent the rest of the night preparing for what I assumed would be a duel with Jeff himself that only one of us would survive. Luckily, I have been watching Naruto for years, 
so I could handle myself in a fight. The stairs creaked once again, and I yelled, Mom, I told you to leave me be! Oh, I'm not your mother. I'm your worst nightmare. It was Jeff. Before I could even react, he was already down the stairs and attacking me. I took punch after punch from him. I'm ashamed to admit that I couldn't even get one good hit on the guy. At this point, I was on the ground and Jeff was still wailing on me. I was about to give up when I saw something in the corner of my eye. It was a picture of me and my waifu that I had framed last Christmas. I could hear a voice in the back of my mind telling me, Get up. Get up, damn it. Get up. Come on, get you happy. It took all of my might, but I soon rose once again to my feet. Jeff looked shocked, almost scared. I could see it in his eyes. That's the best you can do? I asked, spitting out a blood-filled loogie. He chuckled at my determination. <laughs> You've got guts, kid. I can't wait to tear them out. Our epic battle once again continued, though I was still losing. But I had something he didn't have. I had hope. Though it's hard to keep onto hope when you're getting the living crap beaten out of you. I'm proud to say I held onto hope for maybe 30 or 40 seconds before I crawled into a ball and began to cry. Jeff kicked me over and over again before he grew tired and maybe just bored. He looked down and said, Come on, man, it's no fun if you don't get up. This is just pathetic. I looked up, tears streaming down my face, and choked out, <laughs> Pathetic is my middle name. Wham! He kicked me right in the head, and I fell unconscious. I woke up hours later in a dark room. I had no idea how long I had been out. I tried to move, but I was tied to a chair. I didn't even bother to scream for help, as I knew there was no point. I had accepted my fate. Then, out of the darkness, appeared Jeff, his face so bright white, it practically illuminated the room. Good morning, Creeps McPasta, he greeted me. I almost thought you were never going to get up. Well, looks like you were wrong, I replied, my voice low due to the immense pain I was suffering. Luckily, it sounded badass. He chuckled. Yeah, I guess I was. Now that I have your attention, I'd like to make a deal with you. A deal? What kind of deal could this guy possibly want to make with me? Go on, I urged. See, for years now, you have been mocking me online and refused to spread the word of Jeff the Killer to your subscribers, but that all changes today. See, I'm going to let you live, and I'll even let you go home on one condition, he said. And what might that be? I asked. I want you to make a video. Not just any video, a video about me. And how I conquered the mighty Creeps McPasta. I laughed. That's it? That's all you want me to do? Alright, fine. Well, there is one thing. <laughs> he chuckled darkly. <laughs> that leads us to here, and why I'm making this video. I'm sorry everybody, but I wasn't strong enough to beat him. It saddens me to admit, when I came home, my sweet waifu was gone. She left a letter saying how she loved me, but deserved better. So, I'm alone now, in my basement. Alone with just my microphone and computer. My monitor's cracked in three different places, but it still works. Before the video ends, there is one more thing I have to say. The final part of the deal with Jeff was for me to reveal that, that, this pains me to say, but I, Creeps McPasta, admit that Jeff the Killer 
is the greatest creepypasta ever told. Please God, forgive me.